What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Gaming Canada with me. Today we have a 3DS first look at Checkpoint, the fast and simple save manager. Keep watching. You might remember Checkpoint from a previous episode of This Week in Homebrew. In case you missed it, go ahead and click the link in the description and get yourself all caught up. First off, we need to see how well Checkpoint can stack up against popular save managers such as JKSM or JKSMK, which both have very basic UIs and are kind of hard to understand how to even use. I'm hoping Checkpoint can clear up some of the confusion and maybe it'll become a staple in the homebrew community and be the 3DS save manager. Over here on the Checkpoint repository, you can go ahead and scan this QR code with FBI in case you wanted to install the CIA version of this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the 3DS X and run it through Rosalina's homebrew. That is something to note that you can only use this if you have custom firmware. This is not a homebrew save manager. I'll go ahead and download the 3DS X and put this into my 3DS folder on the root of my SD card. And then the next time I launch up homebrew, I should see it in there. We're down here on the 3DS. I'm going to go ahead and open up Nintendo 3DS Sound, which is actually my homebrew launcher, thanks to Rosalina. Now that we're in homebrew, I'm going to press right a few times until I see checkpoint, and there it happens to be. Let's go ahead and hit the A button on it. As you can see, this is taking a little bit of time, as it was mentioned over on the GBA temp thread, that this program has to create a ton of different files and pull a bunch of different icons from places, so it might take a while the first time you launch it, but the second time you launch it, it'll load a lot faster. As you can see, Checkpoint is loaded up here, and it's only showing a few of my titles. It's slowly adding them. You'll see a couple more will appear in a minute here. There's another one. Steel Diver Sub Wars just got added. There's Ocarina of Time. You guys get the idea. I'll check in with you in a second when it's finished. I guess Checkpoint has loaded all of my games. I thought I had a lot more games, but I guess it only shows games that you actually have saves for, which makes perfect sense, and right off the bat, I give that a thumbs up. As you can see here, I can move with the D-pad and select different games. And on the bottom screen, there is an option to backup and restore, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and try to back up my Pokemon Sun save. Now this is actually on the cartridge. As you can see on the bottom screen, it says media type cartridge. And if I go to a digital game, it says SD card. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit the A button on Pokemon Sun. And that highlights the bottom screen. I guess I can go ahead and hit back up. So you have to actually tap back up. Oh, that's cool. You get to rename it on the fly. So I'm going to call this Game in Canada Video Save. That's not how you spell save. There we go. And there we go. It was a success. Now I have a save for Pokemon Sun in case I ever needed to restore it. That's pretty awesome. And actually, I bet you I can do something pretty cool with this. Let me do something real quick. We're back, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but I now have two Pokemon Sun logos. This one being a CIA that I installed to my SD card. All I did was I went and used God Mode 9 to rip my cartridge and then installed the CIA with FBI. I then launched the game once and then saved it, and this allowed it to appear inside a checkpoint. And I can either back up the save here, or what I really want to do is restore my cartridge into the CIA version so that I can stop using the cartridge and keep it in the case so that it stays nice and in good condition. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A on the SD card version and you can use the D-pad to select any of the saves. So you can see here's our save that we backed up from the cartridge called Game in Canada Video Save. And now since I've selected it, it's highlighted in blue, all I have to do is tap restore. So I'm going to hit tap restore and it's been successfully restored. So now if I open up my Pokemon Sun CIA, I should have the exact same save file that I had on my Pokemon Sun cartridge. So that was super easy, and I gotta say, this is already the easiest save manager I have used, and that was just so simple. I'm mind blown how easy that was, honestly. Now that I've easily backed up and restored a save, I'm gonna go ahead and try the multi-select. If you see on the top screen, it says press Y to multi-select. So I'm gonna press Y on a few different games and see if I can't back up all the saves. I'm even gonna pick a couple of virtual console games. And now let's see, what do I do now? You then press the A button and it opens up the bottom screen and you are able to go ahead and hit backup. And there we go. So I backed up 
I guess six titles there and it took well over a minute but it successfully did it and it seemed to name everything auto backup as you can see Pokemon Yellow auto backup, Earthbound auto backup. So I guess that's a quick way of auto backing everything up. Tapping Y on the titles you want and then just tapping back up. The only other option we haven't really explored in Checkpoint is to press the X button and go to EXT data. Now I'm not sure if EXT data stands for extra data or not, but this is usually the data that's created when you first launch a game. So say you just downloaded a game for the first time and you launch it and it says we're preparing the SD card and we're getting some stuff ready or something to that effect. Usually it's creating this EXT data. Now some games when you're installing exploits such as Freaky Forms Deluxe, you need to have a save for it as well as the EXT data so that might benefit you to be able to back up the ext data here so I could hit a on it and just tap back up and here I could go ahead and name it whatever I want we'll call it freaky forms ext data and go ahead and hit ok and the ext data from freaky forms is now saved it took well over a minute but you know it did its thing I've gone ahead and opened up JKSM. Now this is the CIA version and is the most widely used save manager on the Nintendo 3DS. If you're looking for a 3DS X version that is very similar to this, I'll put a link in the description as it's kind of hard to find. Speaking of the 3DS X, that is one benefit of JKSM currently over Checkpoint is that Checkpoint requires you to have custom firmware to use it. Although it may boot from homebrew, it needs custom firmware permissions to work. So you're not going to be able to use Checkpoint on a strictly homebrew device where you're going to be able to use JKSM. Now as you can see here the user interface is a little bit lacking as we're greeted by words on a black background. Pretty simple compared to Checkpoint which had a beautiful little user interface with all of the game icons and it was super easy to back up and restore. You can see here it's kind of hard to know really where to start. Your SD card slash CIA those are going to be games that you've installed yourself and your cartridge obviously is your cartridge. So let's just see how easy it is to back up our Pokemon Sun save from the cartridge using JKSM. So I'm going to go ahead and hit A on cartridge. You can see save data option or EXT data option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save data option and I'm greeted by a bunch of options here to export the save or import the save. So what I want to do is export the save. So already it's a little bit more confusing than checkpoint where it said backup or restore. That's a little bit more intuitive. So you can go ahead and hit export save and new Pokemon Sun JKSM and hit the A button. And it now backed up the Pokemon Sun save. So I'm gonna hit A OK, hit back, and then hit back again. And as you can see here, although that was pretty easy, I was separated from my cartridge and my SD card options. So if I wanted to back up a cartridge with my SD card all at the same time, I would have been able to do it just like we could in Checkpoint where it was fairly easy to tap Y on everything and then tap A and then hit back up. So I'm going to go into SD slash CIA this time. Now you really don't know what to do here. Like say maybe I wanted to select multiple titles. I'm not too sure how to go about doing it. So we tap on this help button down here and it says press L to select multiple titles or press R to select all of them. Press Y to back up the selected or X to restore the selected. So that's a lot to remember in between these two screens, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. The selected games turn red. So now what did that say? I can't remember. I got to tap the help again. Press Y to back up the selected. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Y. This can take a few minutes depending on how many titles are selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Well that took a fair amount of time and it's now completed. Go ahead and hit A. I'm going to go ahead and hit the B button. I'm just going to go down to extras here. Now as you can see here this was just a random feature that was thrown into JKSM and it's the ability to give yourself 300 play coins a day so you can go ahead and give yourself 300 play coins if you want. I don't know if you consider that a bonus over checkpoint or not but it's there. And that was JKSM versus checkpoint. As you can see JKSM gets a little bit of a boost up from being able to be used in homebrew but other than that it doesn't seem to really stand a chance against checkpoint. One last thing we need to do is open up my Pokemon Sun CIA and see if my injected save actually worked. So there should be a character in here named Philip. So there is my injected save from my cartridge that is now on my CIA and I never have to take my cartridge out of the package again. I'm pretty stoked on that as Pokemon Sun is always in my console but it's just kind of sitting there getting my hand oils and whatnot on it.
I've gone ahead and opened up my 3DS's SD card here on the right using FileZilla. If you don't know how to set up an FTP client to communicate with your 3DS, I'll put a link in the description. Fairly handy thing, and if you use micro SD management, this is a little bit faster and a lot easier to access. Right off the bat, you can see a JKSV folder. Now, if you're using JK Save Manager, the CIA version, then this is going to be where your saves are located. If I go into saves here, you can see those are the four games that I just backed up live for you guys a minute ago. So now to find your checkpoint saves, go ahead and open up your 3DS folder, and then you'll see a checkpoint folder. Open it up, and then you'll have your EXT data as well as your saves. So I'll go ahead and open up saves, and you can see it might have a folder or two for games that you haven't had a save file for. But as you can see, if I open up Mario Kart 7, I didn't back up a save. It's just an empty directory waiting for a save to go in it. But as you can see, if we go down to something like Pokemon Sun. Here is my GIC vid save that we made earlier. So inside of here is your save file if you ever needed to restore it. So you could go ahead and drag this onto your desktop or somewhere safe just in case you wanted to back up your saves. See, we can go ahead and open up Pokemon Yellow and you can see here's the Pokemon Yellow auto backup that was created when Now if you guys haven't seen my video where I use JKSMK to rip a Pokemon Yellow save, put it onto a cartridge using my Retron 5, and then using a Game Shark to teach my Pikachu Surf, and then putting it all back into my 3DS Virtual Console, then please go check that out as it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever made and I think it's super cool. Well guys, that was the 3DS first look at Checkpoint, the fast and simple save manager. Hope you guys enjoyed, slam that thumbs up, Go down to the comments, let me know what you think of Checkpoint, are you going to be using it? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more, I got tons more content coming, just be on the lookout guys, I'll see you soon, peace.